saw somewhere in the uh, I don't know, uh, wanted uh, applications for a, a professorship at Princeton, and I, I started off as a as a teacher back when I got out of graduate school, and I always wanted to go back and teach. So I applied, and uh, was the uh, was the, I was the first television guy to go up and teach a seminar on politics and the press at Princeton. Uh, what, were, what were the main things you were trying to get across to your students? Uh, the main thing I was trying was trying to get them interested in following their government and how democracy works because most of them didn't read the newspaper, didn't know how things worked, and so um, uh, didn't know about speech writers, didn't know about uh, legislation, didn't know about the pressures on uh, the members from back home. So I, I got to I got to pick my students uh, uh, when they Princeton announced I was coming. I said, you know, write me one page on why you want to do be in this program. And uh, Ted Sorensen's daughter applied. I wouldn't take her. I said, you don't need me to tell you about government. Just talk to your daddy. But I, I would pick a linebacker or a music major or a chemistry major. So, you know, it was there was an interesting mix. And um, I made them read the New York Times and the Washington Post every day and made them uh, look at the evening news every night. And I taught on Wednesdays for three hours, once a week. And uh, you know, uh, lots of robust discussions about this and that, and and then toward the end of the of the term, I divided the class into a half. You are the White House apparatus. You're the president. You are the White House press corps, and we're going to do a press conference tomorrow morning. Now get him ready. So uh, that's what we did. Oh, they loved it. And then uh, it was then it was election night. And uh, I got uh, audio-visual to bring in three sets, and uh, got pizza and beer in, and we watched the three networks uh, on election night. And uh, I said, take notes, and, you know, because you'll not remember tomorrow, you know, what you saw last night. So the next morning, this was a Tuesday night, election night, and so Wednesday, they came in, I said, okay, you are the TV critic for your hometown paper. Now write me a critical essay on the coverage last night. And uh, I think of the 22, maybe 18 said CBS had one. Uh, I don't know whether they were trying to get a good grade from me or not, but anyway. But that way, and then they invited me to come back a, another year. So I went back and in between I taught two, the same thing down at my alma mater for two semesters. Well, it never worked so hard in my life. Uh, you know, being on television, you're in a room with four or five technicians and you don't see anybody out there, you just see the camera. But in a classroom, you know, you got people looking at you and you can look back at them and you can see whether they get it or not. Uh, it's quite a different experience.